Welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. In some previous videos, I had featured my DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw reviewing the saw itself as well as other videos highlighting some different higher capacity batteries. Be sure to check out my binge-worthy chainsaw stuff playlist to see all of these videos. In some of those past chainsaw videos, there were some comments asking if I tried the DeWalt saw with a longer bar, which until recently, I hadn't. That is, until a friend of mine had given me a Husqvarna bar that he found on clearance at a real bargain but didn't have a saw that the bar would work on. The questions in all of our minds are, one, will the 16 inch bars fit this DeWalt saw? And two, how well will the battery hold up with this extra drag from the added contact area on the bar and chain? And I guess the bonus question would be, does size really matter? Let's start at the top and get to the bottom and find out. So here we are in a secure area outside the Mostly Mike Show Research and Development Center. To be as fair as possible on this test, I'll give the saw a thorough blowing out job to reduce the drag and premature battery drain from debris contacting the moving chain. Oh, it's pretty good. Then I'll install a brand new Husqvarna 16 inch bar. I'll also install a brand new chain, which this chain is made by Rotary, designed specifically for a 16 inch bar. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Lastly, I've topped the bar oil reservoir off with all season bar oil from Stens, which might help reduce parasitic battery losses with its lower viscosity by making the pump not have to work as hard to lubricate the bar. Now these DeWalt saws are notorious for leaking oil, especially lighter oil viscosities. To keep your DeWalt saw from leaking, remember to set it down leaving the oil cap facing up. I'll be sure to include all of the stuff that we use in this video in my Amazon store, which I'll provide the link here and in the description below. Clicking this link before making any purchase helps this channel grow through small commissions that I earn from any purchase. So the bar is on and ready to go. Let's see how much of the 16 inches of bar are actually usable. According to my enchilada, there's nearly 15 inches of total usable bar length, which can really make a difference provided that the batteries hold up, which we are about to test. The scabbard didn't quite cover the 16 inch bar, which happens to be the story of my life. I mean, I, um, never mind. At the end of the day though, it's not the size of your bar that counts, but how well you use it. Our test subject is a dead pine tree at my mom's house that was severed in a windstorm roughly 10 feet off the ground and luckily fell away from the road. At the point of the break, the main trunk is just under 12 inches in diameter. I will work my way down, cutting the trunk into billets and trimming the limbs off as I progress. I'll be using two batteries, starting with the DeWalt 10 amp hour battery, and when it dies, I'll switch to the long fit 9 amp hour battery. You can guess how many total cuts were made in this test in the comments section. I was super impressed by the performance of the DeWalt 20 volt saw out of the gates with this 16 inch bar on it. Pine is funny, and I mean, not like rolling on the floor funny. Well, I guess maybe sometimes, but it tends to have really hard spots, perhaps from knots in it, that tend to catch the chain and then stops the saw. This definitely should be avoided because it's very taxing on the battery life. 
The saw made many cuts through thick and thin parts of the tree, cutting it into manageable pieces so it can be hauled away. The 10 amp hour DeWalt battery muscled through the severed off tree and finally stopped cutting after dropping the main trunk at ground level on the first cut. Not bad considering that these cuts were almost continuous. And that was battery number one. So in actual wood, we got close to the full capacity of that blade, or that bar. Yeah, it's about 15, um, perfectly round. So I got this long fit, it's kind of a DeWalt knockoff, nine million, or nine amp hour battery. So, that's on full charge as well. So, let's see if we can finish this tree out, cutting with it. like to learn how to make one of these log rollers uh, mention it in the comments and maybe I'll do a video on that I built this one years ago well that ain't good I don't know what's going on it's got a full charge on it Maybe there's a thermal cut out in the saw itself. Might have been just clogged full of sawdust too. So let's give it about 10 minutes to sit. Okay, I gave it about a half hour to cool down, so let's see how she does. Not long after I put the Long Fit brand battery in, the saw seemed like it was still stalling. I suspected that the motor may be overheating and might have a thermal cutout, so I left the saw cool off for a while before progressing with the test. Then the saw completed cutting up the tree with several amp hours of battery life to spare. In conclusion, I'm very impressed with the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw's performance using the Husqvarna 16 inch bar. Usually around the yard, I would use a gas powered saw to make quicker work out of a task like this. But I thought as long as I have something to test, such as this bar paired up with the DeWalt saw, this tree is nice and out in the open so you can see the saw in action with less distraction. I hope that you enjoyed this Mostly Mike Show presentation and you learned something about bigger bars and how to last longer. If nothing else, I hope that you were at least entertained. Could you do me a favor and mash that thumbs up or down button if you did or didn't like the video? And consider subscribing if you're new here. Be sure to make your Amazon purchases through my Amazon store link if you'd like to help this channel out. Every purchase counts. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation and I'll see you next time.